dear SMB tribe, welcome to segment four of Secret Men's Enlightenment. My name's Grant Shepherd, and I'm delighted to be your spiritual guy for Secret Men's Business. So, here I am on retreat in Kerry Kerry in Northland in New Zealand. It's beautiful. I'm by myself in a beautiful little farmhouse, way away from everything. It's so peaceful. And so I was thinking, hmm, what shall I do for this segment? So what we're going to look at is the witness state. Now, the witness state is basically our natural state. It's our state of awareness before we start to think, before we start to act, before we start to identify with different things, our body, our role, what we have, what we don't have. So our witness state is our natural state of just being. Before we start any doing. And I guess one of the main reasons that I do this segment is to show that enlightenment is not something way off on a mountaintop. I mean, yes, we can go to a mountaintop if we want to, to learn about enlightenment, but we can just as easily do it here and now, exactly where we are. So, the witness state, Sakshi Bhav. Let's talk about that. Sakshi, in the ancient Indian language of Sanskrit, means witness. And it means that which witnesses and is neutral. So it doesn't get involved in likes or dislikes or high or low or good or bad. None of that really affects Sakshi, the witness. The witness simply is. And you would have heard me just say Sakshi Bhav. Sakshi Bhav means cultivating this witness state, cultivating it consciously. And there's a few reasons why we might want to do this because there are benefits to cultivating the witness state. These benefits are becoming very calm, becoming present, being able to respond rather than react, and to be very peaceful and content. Now let's talk a little bit more about the witness. So imagine an ocean, an ocean, and there's lots of waves on that ocean. Sometimes they're huge, sometimes they're small, sometimes they're going all different ways. You know, especially say up Cape Rianga, up here in Northland, if you go to the tip of Cape Rianga, you can actually see where the Pacific and the Tasman seas meet. And you'll see the waves move together. But the ocean is the same. What makes up the ocean is the same. The water is the same. Just the waves are a little different. The waves come and go, come and go. So be the ocean. Learn how to be the ocean. Sounds very poetic, but think about it. Do you want to be caught up in the waves all the time? That's kind of exhausting. You know, you never know what's going to happen with the waves next. One minute they might be nice and quiet, the next minute it's a tempest. You know, that's our thoughts, that's our emotions, that's the way our life goes. So be the ocean. Be the ocean. When I teach at workshops and retreats, that's one thing I really cultivate. Being the ocean, being the witness, being that which holds everything, holds everything. 
but at the same time is detached from it all and not affected by it all. There's love there for sure. And there is a feeling of presence. So I'm going to show you two powerful ways that we can cultivate the witness. And I'm going to take you for a little bit of a walk around here in this beautiful farm area in Kerry Kerry. So you can have a look around. See how beautiful it is up here. One way that we're going to look at involves clearing the mind. And this involves the sky. And another way involves just being, just dropping everything, just dropping everything and just relaxing into the present moment. You don't have to do anything, you don't have to say anything, you don't have to be anywhere. All you have to do is you just drop into Sakshi Bhav, the witness state. Now, you know, often people think enlightenment is really mystical and there's lots of mystical stuff that goes on and it's all very, you know, oh, grasshopper and all that sort of stuff. And, you know, sometimes that's the case. But a lot of the time, it's actually a very natural process. It's just about learning how to be in the state of awareness, in the state of being present, in the state of being in Sakshi Bhav, the witness state, being in that place consciously. And it's kind of like it's kind of like riding a bike. The more you do it, the better you get at it. So, you know, if you start off and you're like, hey, hold on a minute, I can't really feel it at the moment, that's all right. Just be steady. Work with the practice, maybe a couple of minutes a day, maybe a few times a day. And in this way, you'll start to naturally come to the witness state. You'll be in Sakshi Bhav naturally. And why is that? Well, that's because that's our natural state. Despite what the mind might do, despite what the limited ego might do, despite what we think we've got to have, despite what we think we don't have, aside from all of those things, our natural state is the witness state. So let's learn how to be in that state and live our lives from that state. So let's go. Let's go and work with some practices to bring us into Sakshi Bhav, the witness state. Okay, so here we are in beautiful Kerry Kerry in Northland. And I'm going to take you through a way to cultivate witness consciousness that you can do at any time when you're outside. And it's very, very simple. All we need to do is just look up to the sky. So look up to the sky and see that blue patch, the blue patch surrounded by the clouds. Put your awareness right on the blue patch of sky and dissolve your vision into that blue sky. Just simply stare at the blue sky. What that will do is it will stop thought forms. The thought forms are the things that stop you from being in the witness state. So often yogis in India will say, the wide open sky is a yogi's best friend. Now it doesn't matter if there's some cloud in the sky, that's okay, that's fine. 
just put your awareness on the clear blue sky that you can see. It can be a patch of sky. It doesn't have to be a full expanse of blue sky. Just melt your awareness into the expanse of blue sky. Okay, so here's another way to cultivate the witness. Just become very still and enjoy the beauty that you're seeing. No need to label it, no need to judge it, no need to do anything with it. Just be with the beauty that you're seeing. Sun through the trees. Green, green grass. The sheep quietly eating their dinner. See how still how present you can be in this moment without any labeling of it. This is a powerful way to enter the witness state.